Pinero is already being scrutinized because developers haven't ruled out putting slot machines on the site. So tonight, the Broken Arrow City Council took a preemptive approach to let the public know what's being considered after a messy legal battle over a proposed casino five years ago. Reporter Brian Miller is live with the controversy this time around. Brian? That's right, Brian. Now, the City Council did not take any action on the agenda item, but many people who fought that proposed casino five years ago were back here tonight to voice their concerns, even though... Broken Arrow has no jurisdiction over what can or cannot be built on tribal lands. If history truly repeats itself, opponents of a club and restaurant that could include slot machines on this tribal land oppose future illegal gaming in Broken Arrow are hoping for an encore so that the neighbors in the area can uh, feel comforted and assured that this is not going to turn into a casino. It's not the large-scale casino proposed several years ago in a nearby site that led to vocal opponents and ultimately a federal judge halting the project. PA city manager and mayor both lost their jobs in the process the first time around, but gambling opponents say much has changed since then. We really crossed some bridges and resolved those distrust issues. So no distrust on my part. I think they're, they're trying to play this one right. Broken Arrow has no jurisdiction over the tribal lands. BA counselors only need to allow access off of Olive, also known as 129th, near the Creek Turnpike. According to the city attorney, the project is still in the design phase and the developer has not yet applied for gaming permits. But according to city leaders, the local developer has also not ruled it out either, calling it a possibility. He's well respected within the community, and so I want to trust that when he says there's no immediate plans, that that's what he means. But again, we want to verify that, and we'd love to meet with him to, to, to discuss it. All right, by the way, I did speak with Lucian Tiger III. He's on the National Council for the Muscogee Creek, Creek Tribe. Now, he assures me there are no plans to put gaming on that site. In fact, he says he doesn't know of any current council members that would vote in favor of gaming on that site. Reporting live in Broken Arrow tonight, Brian Miller, Two Works for You.